video will walk you through the process of reviewing a time off request. Once an employee has submitted a time off request through the time and attendance portal, you will receive an email notification including the employee's request, the time of the request, and you will also see notes if the employee has included notes for you to review. In order to go into the system to approve or decline the request, log in into your PRISM HR Manager portal. Then go to My Payrolls, click Nova Time, and this will open up your Nova Time Manager dashboard. From the dashboard, you will be able to access the PTO status. And in that area, you can review all of the PTO requests that have been submitted. In this case, it defaults into the current pay period. At the moment, I don't have pending requests for this current week, but there's time off requests that are pending my approval that can be accessed through the time off request or directly through the PTO status. You can access either way. Once you click on it, it will open up the time off request section. And it defaults to the current pay period. So if you would like to review all pending time off requests, which could include future time off requests for your employees, simply select all. This will generate all the time off requests. In this case, you will see there's four pending time off requests and they are highlighted in yellow. You will see your approved request or any ones that you have declined. In, in this section, you will see your employee that has submitted their request. If you expand, in the arrow in the corner, this will open up all the time off requests that are pending approval. In this section, you will be able to see how many hours the employee has available. My employee has 72 hours available. In order to approve their request, you can do it individually. Select on the status dropdown from pending select Approve, and then click Save. The system will prompt you with a new message, making sure that you are OK to continue. Click OK. And now the request has moved from Pending to Approved. You can remove request or decline request by completing the same process Simply select Decline or Remove and click Save. Now I have multiple requests for this employee. You could choose to select each one of the requests that you would like to approve and change the status of the selected ones to Approve. And then click Save. And this will hopefully save you some time if you would like to approve multiple request time off. You will notice that there's a calendar on the right side of your page. This will show you how many employees are set up for a scheduled pay time off. In this case, I have one employee and it's color coded for one employee, which is the gray color. If I have multiple employees that are scheduled for that day, it will look in a different color. You can color code and customize your view by clicking on the set request count color. If you have one or more employees um, with time off for that day, you can select the color that you would like to see. And you can continue customizing your color coding for your calendar. You can also change 
how many request counts will show up in this area. So let's say that you would like to have another color coding for four or more employees that have requested time off. Then click OK. This section is optional, but, but it's a good a visual of how many employees have requested time off. If you hover on any of the dates that are color coded, you will see a list of the employees that are scheduled to have time off on that day. And it will also include a preview of the hours and when they submitted their request. You can change your view from calendar to list. And this will provide you with a list of all the employees that, are, that have an approved time off request in the system. It's up to you to select your preference. If you would like to see employees' balances in more detail, you can access that information as well. Click on your action bar, select attendance, accrual history. This will open up your employees' accruals page. You can see their current available balance, and in this case, it's showing eight hours. You can open up in detail all the information that we have for the employee's accrual. If you scroll to your right, you will see a list of all of the accruals that happen and the usage for this employee. So in this example, the employee has a scheduled time of request for 12-21-2018. The employee has requested eight hours and those are approved and posted into the employee's timesheet. The notes will read usage when it's hours that the employee has requested for time off and the hours have been approved. The activity date will be the date when the approval happened for that request. You can bookmark this area. So if you would like to access the accruals in an easier manner the next time that you log in, simply click on the left side of the tab and that will bookmark your accruals. Same for requests. If you would like to bookmark it, you can add the star. If you would like to go back to your main dashboard, click Dashboard. And as you can see, my tabs have remained bookmarked in my favorites. Keep in mind that in order to approve or decline a request, the timesheet for the week that the employee is requesting time off for needs to be active. This concludes the training video for PTO accruals for managers.